um, on top of the extra hours that um, I had to dance and prepare for the video. So yeah, and I actually was under a crew diet that you don't even want to hear about. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, no, yes I do because I want to look like you after I have the baby. So did you do like cut out all carbs? Did you just do proteins? Yeah, no oil. Um, no wine. Cutting all carbs. Yeah, no wine. Um, I've done that diet, but it fruit. works. It works. Uh, lots of fish, lots of spinach. I actually think I had an overdose of spinach, <laughs> which I like, but you know, it was a little too much. <laughs> it was hard on you, Shakira, but it was worth it for Steve. <laughs> well, yeah. I had to look decent for my fans. So. <laughs> now, after the first day of shooting, were you sore? <laughs> Very sore. Oh That's my right. God! Yeah. Every single mus muscle mm -hmm. in my body was so sore, and I was in, in, in serious pain. Yeah. You know, the video is like a workout. It, it was, it was actually, yeah. And those those cages scene, <laughs> scenes, I was I was actually just you know hanging from the bars and doing outrageous okay. stuff. Uh, it was all an improvisation, um, but you know I felt in my element. I felt uh, that I had to express what a she wolf would feel if she was inside a cage enclosed, um, wanting to get out. Well, it's. It Pays off. You know, the last video I saw you in was with She's Beyonce. Your butt. Okay, sorry. Beyonce. <laughs> Please continue. And you really are. Um, and now they're like mini movies that you're shooting. The music business has changed so much. How has that affected you and your approach to your music? Um, actually, in many positive ways because now I feel so much closer to the fans. You know, have, being able to Twitter, for example, and yeah. and having that. Uh, that that access to them at any minute, any second of the day, it's so immediate, and your music just gets to 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 the, to the right people uh, through this extraordinary vehicle that internet is. So um, I, I it saw actually this, plays me, in favor. Yeah, Shakira, I saw the story about. It. Is it true that so your dad was the, you know a writer and whatever, and he had a typewriter, and he used to yeah. write, and and you said I want a typewriter when you were seven years old. Is that right? That's right, yeah. I actually wanted to be a serious writer when I was a child. I didn't know I was going to be a singer until I was 10. Or actually, when, when I was 8, I started writing my first songs. I discovered that lyrics and music would, could come together and, and, and form a song. And, and uh, so I actually think that my career as a songwriter started even earlier than my career as a singer. Did your parents discover that you could sing at 10, or did you discover singing by yourself in your bedroom, and then they heard you and said, wow, she's good. We could really cash in on this kid. Go ahead. I I remember vividly Cash the in. moment when my dad said, oh, the, our, our girl has really a, a great potential. Her voice is really powerful. I remember this moment vividly. We were going to the beach. We were in the car. And, uh, and his, words, his words just stuck, uh, got stuck in my head forever. Oh. And, um, and he was actually my first manager. You know, I remember him going to the notary to, to actually register my song so nobody would steal them from wow. me. <laughs> he was so sweet. I dad, mean, dad, dad does. I have a an Oedipus guy. complex that I haven't been able to resolve because I love my dad and he, he oh, just has oh, been oh. such an amazing dad and such an amazing support. He must be so I proud of my you. mom though. Sorry? He must be so proud of you seeing that from that 10 year old girl to what you've become now. Now do you get embarrassed when he sees the She-Wolf video because it's really sexy? Are you like, dad watch it kind of with your eyes covered? I actually, <laughs> I actually had their blessing, but it took him a minute, you know? <laughs> I understand. I had to do some well, he, serious he did, uh, convincing. Yeah. <laughs> he did make that body of yours. Yes. I mean, he is sort of responsible, so he it, should enjoy it. Is it from your father <laughs> and perhaps your mother, the, the fact that you devote so much of your time, and this isn't just the PR spin, you can't go on without helping other people. You can't go out without working what we call charities, etc. That's been a part of your life probably since you were 10. Actually, um, I started, I created my foundation when I was 18, and since then we've been mm -hmm. working on education and focusing on, on um, accompanying uh, education with a nutritional component, which is mm -hmm. a very important one. And we've been uh, providing um, this, 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 uh, this support to, to kids who live in extreme poverty and areas of conflict um, due to the internal uh, conflict in my, in my country and the, in the number of internal displaced, internal displaced people. Uh, today Colombia is the second country in the world after the Sudan with the largest number of, of displaced people. So we've been working in these areas and it's very challenging 
Um, but we've been learning a lot, and every year we learn a little more. We have five active schools in Colombia, and this last year we just inaugurated a new one uh, for 1,800 students, and it's like it's the dream of my life, and oh. and I am so happy, <coughs> so thrilled to see all these kids. And from when you who were literally 18. lost everything, and what? now they just and, and, uh, and Shakira, this is uh, I mean aside from the fact that you're incredibly beautiful, you should be outlawed, but. This, this is who you are. It's not, I mean, people are nice, celebrities are nice if they show up to events to support events. You're in this thing wholeheartedly. And, since and she was a kid. Since she was a kid. I also wondered, uh, looking at you and talking to you, is there any way on earth you would not have been an artist and a performer and somebody who expresses herself? Could you have done anything else? Uh, probably, yeah. I, I, uh, I'm interested in many other aspects uh, of life. You know, I love history, for example. I never really showed an interest in history when I was back in school. <laughs> but now I absolutely love it. Um, and, and life is so broad, and there are so many possibilities. But I really don't see myself in this flesh and in this mm -hmm. body doing anything else but music and maybe because it's what I've been doing since I was 10 since I decided I wanted to be a singer for the rest of my life. Are you letting the flesh have like a little oil now and a little wine every <laughs> once in a while maybe just carbs you know once a week? Oh my god. <laughs> Two days ago I went to this restaurant and the waiters were laughing because I closed the restaurant literally. I was the last one to leave the you place. Were eating the I whole had time? three desserts. I had like three appetizers, all for all for my for for me only, and and two <laughs> main courses. I well, ate like an animal. Yeah. You're I mean, catching up like yeah. a she wolf, like a cage animal. That's why you look, that's why you look so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you know I think I've been so repressed with food lately that that I just went crazy in that restaurant. I, I know the feeling. Shakira, I the, the kitchen. The producer <laughs> told me, the producer just said in my ear, I know you want to talk to her for the next 10 hours, but or we have to go. Or at least next two She has other people to yeah, talk to. Uh, Shakira, it's thank you. It's good you. to see you. Bye, thank you, Shakira. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Nice seeing you. She Wolf is out now. Shakira's new album comes out.